In this video, we'll finish up the CUDA software worksheet, multiplying and dividing rational numbers. And I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below. In the following problems, we're going to find each product. Number 21 says negative 11 times 9. Now, just like division, we're going to have four different options. A positive times a positive, our first option will result in a positive. A negative times a negative will also result in a positive. A positive times a negative will result in a negative, and a negative times a positive will result in a negative. So for 21, we have a negative 11 times a positive 9. The signs are different, therefore we're going to have a negative answer. 11 times 9 is 99. So the answer to number 21 is going to be negative 99. Number 22, we have a negative times a negative. Negative times a negative, looking at our chart, results in a positive. Think, same sign, positive. So negative 7 times negative 12 is going to be a positive 84. Number 23, we have another negative times a negative, so the resulting answer is going to be positive. 8 times 11 is going to be a positive 88. For 24, we have a negative times a positive. Looking at our chart, negative times a positive results in a negative. Negative 6 times positive 4 is going to be a negative. 6 times 4 is 24. So 24, the answer is negative 24. Number 25, negative times negative is a positive. 3 times 11 is 33. So negative 3 times negative 11 is positive 33. For number 26, again, we have a negative times a negative. We know that's going to be positive. So 5 times 9 is 45. Negative 5 times negative 9 is also 45. For 27, we have a positive times a negative. That's going to result in a negative. The signs are not the same. So 9 times 7 is 63, but that's a negative 63 since it's 9 times negative 7. And number 28, negative times negative is a positive. Negative 9 times negative 3 is a positive 27. 29, we have a positive times a negative. So our resulting answer is going to be negative. And 12 times 12 is 144. So 12 times negative 12 is negative 144. Number 30, we have a positive times a negative. 11 times negative 6 is going to be negative. 66. Number 31 actually introduces another number. So as opposed to just multiplying two numbers together, we're now multiplying three. A positive times a negative results in a negative. And we're left with multiplying that negative number by a positive. And a negative times a positive will give us a negative. So a positive times a negative times a positive results in a negative. Let's go ahead and do out the math. 6 times negative 5, positive times a negative, we know is a negative. 6 times 5 is 30. So 6 times negative 5 is a negative 30. And we're left with times 3. A negative times a positive is a negative, so negative 30 times positive 3 is going to give us a negative 90. So our answer to number 31 is negative 90. For 32, we have a positive times a negative, which will result in a negative, and then that's multiplied to a positive. So negative times a positive will result in a negative. Doing the math, 6 
times negative 1 is going to give us a negative 6. And we're left with the times 2. Negative 6 times 2 will give us a negative 12. So for number 32, we get negative 12. In number 33, we have a positive, a negative, and a negative. 8 times negative 6 results in a negative number. And we're left with a negative times a negative. A negative times a negative will be positive. So we know our final answer is going to be positive. Now 8 times negative 6 is going to be a negative 48. And that's going to be multiplied by a negative 3. Negative times a negative is a positive. 48 times 3 is going to give us 144. I'll go ahead and do that out longhand. 48 times 3, 8 times 3 is 24, carry the 2, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 144. Number 34, negative times a positive, which results in a negative, times a negative, so our final answer will be positive. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. Negative 18 times a negative 6 is going to be positive. 18 times 6 is 108. And I'll do this longhand one more time. 18 times 6. 8 times 6 is 48. Carry the 4. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 4 is 108. And if you need to, feel free to double check your answers with a calculator. Number 35, we have 3 times 3 times negative 1 times 3. They wrote this a little differently from the previous problems because as opposed to using the multiplication sign, they just put brackets around all of their terms. So multiplication happens between each of those terms. So 3 times 3 is going to be a positive 9 since both are positive. And then we're going to be left with times negative 1 times 3. And I'll put the parentheses around the 9 as well. 9 times a negative 1 is going to result in a negative 9. Since we're multiplying a positive by a negative. And then we still have to multiply by that positive 3. Negative 9 times a positive 3 is going to be a negative 27. And moving on to our last problem, number 36. 36, we have a negative times a positive times a negative times a negative. If we multiply negative 3 times 3, we're going to get a negative 9. Because the order doesn't matter for multiplication, we can also go ahead and multiply negative 3 times negative 3. Negative times a negative is going to give us a positive. 3 times 3 is 9, so negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. So now we're left with negative 9 times a positive 9. Negative times a positive is a negative. 9 times 9 is 81, so negative 9 times 9 is negative 81. And this completes the multiplying and dividing rational numbers CUDA software free worksheet in Infinite Algebra 1. Go ahead, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And if you need a more in-depth explanation of multiplying and dividing negative and positive numbers together, go look through my video tutorials on my website or on YouTube.